Heidi Ho there, friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're gonna to just show you how to mount up some trailer tires right quick. Quick, uh, Bring the camera on down here. We have some 14 inch steel wheels here that we just put a fresh coat of paint on. And right here we have a stack of trailer tires that we purchased off of walmart.com. And I kinda of like these, they kinda of have like an old school bias ply look to them. And I think they're gonna work out real good for our trailer. So stay tuned while we get these mounted up, guys. Okay, folks, let's get started here. Nathaniel, bring me one of them wheels over here. We're gonna put it on our machine. Folks, we'll be using a Baseline 300 tire mounting machine today. Let me go ahead and, Nathaniel uh, <laughs> says hello. And uh, we will put the wheel up there, kick the little lever here, lock it down to the, to the uh, machine. And we have some brand new valve stems here, okay? We got four of them. So let's go ahead and open uh, this pack here first. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, put these new stems in here. And all I have for a tool today, guys, is just this little universal tool here for fixing like cores and everything. Uh, I need to get me one of the big long ones uh, like they usually have at places that I've worked at in the past. I guess I've just never um, got one of those. So anyway, this is pretty easy. We're gonna stick our valve stem in here, and then we're gonna screw the tool down onto the valve stem, just like so. And then we're just gonna grab it with two fingers and pull until we feel it pop into place, okay? And you can see that the valve stem is there, ready to go. All right, so now, guys, we are ready to mount our first tire. I'm gonna stick my cap on here just temporarily. We'll be pulling that off here shortly when we go to air the tire up. But for now, we'll leave it right there. Okay, now hand me the new tire, Nathaniel. And actually, let's pause the camera because I think we need to get us some tire suit to put in our machine here. Hey guys, here's the liquid stuff I found it here. It's, this is uh, uh, Extra Slick, made by Extra Seal, with, starting with an X there. And we got our little, um, you can't really see it right there, but we're just gonna pour some of this uh, liquid slippery soap into our unit here. We don't mount tires very often, so I'm not going to put a whole lot in there. Stick our little thing in here and get it all wet. Wet, slimy. And that seems to be pretty good right there. Now you can tell, this is, uh, you can't really tell. Well, maybe you can. If I come over here, you can see that's kind of wet. It's got the soap stuff on now. So now we're ready to, uh, Balance tire up. Uh, let's see. Oh, the camera right there. Okay, folks. Hey, we got this thing all lubed up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I just take it and run it around the bead here, just like so. On each one, we'll do the inside bead as well, and then we'll be ready to mount this tire. Okay, that all be good enough there. Okay, so now we put that back in the little holder there. We'll take our tire and we're going to bring our machine over here and we'll get this adjusted up. So we're going to bring the arm down and lock it in place, okay? And we also have a knob right over here so we're just going to bring it up to the bar and that just helps it where it can't dig into the rim or anything. So now we're going to go ahead and um, roll this tire on here. So always being a good have, especially with cars that have, uh, um, I got the valve stem 180 degrees away, and that's a good habit to get into, especially when you're mounting tires on any new car today with uh, TPMS sensors, because they're, they're, if you're not careful, you can't break them. So we'll just do like we normally would do. Now our tire has popped onto the beat. Let's go ahead and spin it all around where we're 180 out, okay? And then we are going to put it on the lip right here. I'm gonna hold down real good and roll this tire off. Right, good. 
There we go, guys. It's just that easy. It's gonna be a good looking, good looking wheel and tire on our uh, trailer. Don't you think, Daniel? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's see if we can get these things to air up. See if I can get over here to the panel. All right, here we go. There we go, guys. Oh, I was holding it down too far. That noise was the actual uh, bees. Bead blaster allowing some of the air out. Figure out why I was doing that. So now we just heard both beads pop. We heard the top one pop. We just heard the bottom pop. I'm gonna let off. There's a gauge over here on the side. We got about 18 pounds in it. We'll go ahead and bring it on up about 30, if we can for now. We'll adjust the pressure on this trailer accordingly when we get everything bolted back up. We're repacking the spindles, repacking the bearings and everything on as well while we're doing a little restoration. So we'll be uh, making some more videos about this trailer uh, if you want to check it out in the up and coming weeks. Alright, we got 30 pounds in it, guys. So there we go. We got that parcel mounted. Okay guys, we're bouncing up these bad boys right quick on our little baseline 350 balancer. And we are just uh, doing a static balance on this thing, which means we are putting all the weight on the inside edge. So Daniel, this is our first one here. It took four ounces, which uh, is a little much, I think, but it'll be all right. Let's grab another wheel. Oh, pull that one over there and hand me another one. Be careful. Yep. Hand me another one there, buddy. Alright. And we'll get these balanced up right quick. Here you go. Alright. And guys, we have a video on our channel on how to use this uh, particular balancer. You may have seen it. If I can find the link to it, I'll throw it at the bottom of this one. We got one that goes a little bit more detail on using the uh, tire machine that we just used as well. So here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and spin it and see what happens. See what it's like. Yeah, see what she looks like. I got a few, oh, that's not too bad. Two and a half ounces on the inside edge. So what you do, you rotate it around until you get four dots here lined up, just like so. And then that means the weight goes right here, like in a straight line, straight down on this lip. So two and a half. I'm going to have to piece it together here a little bit. Let's see what we got here. We got, I just got a bunch of old weights here, guys. I don't know how to buy weights. And the only new weights I got here is some um, uh, stick-on weights. But these, uh, I'm just going to use some of these old ones here. Some of these other tires. There's a the one. Another one. Let's just see what happens right there. There's two ounces on there. Oh yeah, we'll shoot a little bit off. Matter of fact, 75. Let's turn it around. And I got a 75 right here. I'm going to put it on there. Oh, that didn't go too tight. Hang on. Let me uh, do something right quick. Guys, when you get a weight that don't really a use weight anyway, you can take it and just kind of squeeze it a little bit. Squeeze that tab on there a little bit. It'll make it clamp better. We have to reuse the weight. So there we go. Let's we'll push the button again. Ba bam. Bam. Zero. She's good to go. 
All right, guys, we got two more to do here. Right. I think we'll just uh, put it on a uh, time lapse and let you watch it in fast motion. All right, guys, there's our set of uh, trailer tires, all mounted, balanced, ready to go. Thanks for stopping by today. Folks, thank you for stopping by today. What was that weird noise we just heard? Sounds like, sounds like our chickens. It sounds like maybe it was our chickens, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go out there and check it out. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time, take care. Peace, bye-bye.